Hello, this is vlog journal number four for marriage and family communication. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for this video being one day late over submission. Um, financially, it had my classes locked over the weekend, so I just barely regained access about last night. So, this is the first time I'm seeing this content. Um, but the topic this week really interests me and I'm excited. So, um, a deceitful yes is better than an honest, a deceitful, no, my bad. An honest no is better than a deceitful yes. And personally, this is applied so much in my life. I am always, personally, my mom is telling me that I spread myself too thin, which is, I think, a term that goes along with this, um, quote very well. Um, sometimes I find myself saying yes to someone or saying yes to something. It doesn't have to be in time management, just yes to something or someone in general, knowing that I cannot perform those tasks or uphold my so-called promise, even though it's not necessarily a promise, hoping that it will all work out in the end and that is not the way to go. I need to be honest with myself and tell myself that I'm not gonna be able to do those things and saying no in my heart um, wholeheartedly is worth more and making myself happy is worth more than that person being upset with me for not being able to do that. And that's the only reason why I think I say yes all the time or don't say no all the time is because I don't want people to be mad at me. And that's just a habit that I need to break and something that I need to get over. And that just goes with loving myself first and doing things for myself first. In my personal life, I have been deceived by this a lot. Um, my biological father, uh, his name is Joe. I've talked to him, i talked about him before in previous vlog journals, not really sure when, but he is my biological dad and I grew up with him, you know, like he was always a part of my life, never truly like there, but he always promised that he would come see me or promised that he would be a part of my life, promised this, you know, promise after promise, and he never followed through. At the beginning of our time, or at the beginning, when I was young, I'd say he's a, he was around a lot more than he is now. Um, he would promise that he would come see me, and he wouldn't show up. He would promise that he would take me somewhere. He'd never show up. He promised that he'd stop drinking. He never did. And, um, sorry to get personal, but those are just things that I've had to deal with in my personal life, and things that I feel um, apply to this kind of situation and I've learned from them and I think the really hard thing for me in that is that I still am wanting that yes even though if it's even if it's a deceitful yes like the quote says um, because I still want hope and I need to realize I'm on this journey now of finding myself and learning to love God and trusting God that he will make decisions for me and not for me but he knows what's right for me and he wants my dad to be a part of my life and he wants my dad to be there then he will make it happen if he doesn't then so be it and i'm okay with that i have made peace with that but that is one situation that really hit hard for me when talking about this topic because i've been dealing with this my whole life and i am now just starting to make peace with it and um to come to that realization and it's been really empowering for me like we've talked about before as well and um so yeah, I think I agree with that statement so much is that a uh, honest no doesn't necessarily mean letting other people down. It just means taking care of yourself first. And that's something I think is so important in marriage and family communication or just communication with your friends or in the workplace or wherever. Because for example, if you're in the workplace and you say yes to something you can't commit and then you get fired for that thing because you committed and you didn't pull through. So it's not always um, just, oh, I'll let it slide this time or, oh, it's okay. No. And as you get older, you start to learn those things. And I know I have definitely started to now. But um, yeah, those are topics. That's what really what I wanted to say in this week's vlog. Um, and just kind of explain myself a little bit and where I'm coming from with this and my life and kind of give you a little sneak peek into myself and personal growth. And um, yeah, so that's all for this week. Um, I wish you the best and I'm praying that we have good days the rest of the days. <laughs>